Hello students, myself Patel Hiren Kumar A, lecturer in Mechanical Engineering Department from Vallabhuri Polytechnic Nausari. Today we will learn a subject of Thermal Engineering 1 and we are discussing about air compressor. So let's we start. First of all, technical terms. Trabadi thodi technical terms che jya apne joi lehye air compressor ni antar. So pehli aave chya volumetric efficiency of compressor. So in definition, it is the ratio of actual volume of air drawn in the compressor to the stroke volume of the compressor. So volumetric efficiency is the ratio of actual volume of air drawn in compressor and the stroke volume of the compressor. Barabar chai. A mechanical efficiency ni baat kare. Second number power chai mechanical efficiency. It is the ratio of indicate power to the sub power or a brake power of the motor. Mechanical efficiency is equal to su ky indicator power at like IP divided by sub power at like SP at what the brake power per time and case of Third number for is isentropic efficiency. It is the ratio of isentropic power to brake power required to drive the compressor. Bravo Jim. Here Pachi char number for is centrifugal compressor. The flow of air is perpendicular to the axis of compressor. Path number per hour is axial flow compressor. The flow of air is parallel to the axis of compressor. Actually, a direction of the air is parallel to Centrifugal compressor is air perpendicular. And axial flow compressor is air is parallel. Compression is the process of increasing the pressure of air, gas, and vapor. By reducing its volume is a call of compressor. So compressor ni baat kar to compressor ko ne kya hai? To kya bhai tamme koi pan vastu ne pressure increase karo, like air, gas, vapor. Yeno tamme pressure increase karo, but yeno volume reduce kari ne. To yeno so kya hamare compressor. Single acting compressor, the suction, compression, and the delivery of air takes on the one side of piston. Now, double acting compressor, the suction, compression, and the delivery of air take place on the both side of the piston. Multi staged compressor, the compressor of air from initial pressure to the final pressure is carried out in the, in the more than one cylinder. Application of compression. Pneumatic brakes, drill, jacks, lift, spray of paintings, soft cleaning, injection, the fuel diesel engine, supercharging, refrigeration, and in the air condition system. So, compressor any application term for Pucha Jay example, the Tamara Arika Lakman. Intercooler, it is the simple heat exchanger. Exchange the heat of compressed air from low pressure compressor to circulating water before the air enter to high pressure compressor. The purpose of intercooling is to minimize the work of compression. Intercooling ni baat kariye, ek simple heat exchanger chhe. Ane e heat exchanger su kare chhe, to ke pai compressed air ne low pressure compressor to Circulate the water before air enter to the high pressure compressor. There is high pressure compressor in the air enter high. There is low pressure compressor in the water and circulate the water compound current the water. There is a lot of isentropic efficiency. It is the ratio of isentropic power to the brake power required to drive the compressor. Isentropic efficiency in the definition of the to is the ratio of isentropic power and brake power to the driven compression. Now next is clearance ratio. It is the ratio of clearance volume to the swept volume or stock volume is called as a clearance ratio. So clearance ratio in the definition of the definition के भाई ये रेशियो चाहे कौन हो तो के भाई क्लीयरेंस रेश वॉल्यूम तू द स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम और पार्ट ऑफ स्टॉक वॉल्यूम 
Now, next is isothermal efficiency. It is the ratio between isothermal work to the actual work of the compression. Okay. Now, compression ratio, the ratio between total volume and the clearance volume of the cylinder is the called compressor ratio. Now, next is perfect intercooling. When the temperature of the air leaving the intercooler is equal to the original atmospheric air temperature, then the intercooling is called perfect intercooling. Kejare temperature of air intercooling mati bar nikadasi. Tare original atmosphere air air. Tare air temperature original atmosphere jitu thai. Barabar se to tene kya maha perfect intercooling. Ab apne jo issue classification of compressor. So first of all you can see the chart. Tame chart jo issue kocho. So tene andar dekhai chhe compressor type. There is a two types of compressor, positive displacement and dynamic. In the positive displacement, there are two types, reciprocating and rotary. In the reciprocating, there are three types, single acting, diaphragm, double acting. In the positive displacement, second, rotary. In the rotary section, the rotary compressor, there are five types. One is lobe type, liquid ring type, screw type, scroll type, and vent type of compressor. Now, we can go into dynamic type of compressor. In the dynamic type of compressor, there are two types, centrifugal compressor and axial compressor. Now, the compressor are classified based on the aspect like number of stages. There is a three types, single stage, double stage, and multi-stage cooling method and medium in the air cool type water cool type oil cool type drive type engine driven motor driven turbine driven tail driven chain driven gear driven or direct coupling drives fourth is lubrication method splash lubrication lubricated or force lubrication or oil free compressor service pressure low medium and high pressure service now here is the difference which is given rotary compressor and reciprocating compressor working on a principle base working on a principle <coughs> now in the reciprocating compressor is type of positive displacement type Rotary compressor, it may also be posit uh, positive or non-positive type compressor. Non-positive ro rotary compressor is known as a dynamic type. For example, centrifugal and axial flow type, road blow, screw and vent compressor are positive displacement rotary type compressor. Now, ideal compressor is isothermal. Ideal compressor in rotary motion is adiabatic. In the reciprocating increase in pressure due to reciprocating piston, this is achieved. But in the rotary compressor, increase in pressure due to velocity difference. Now, in a uh, reciprocating compressor, work exchange. Due to boundary displacement, PV diagram is used. But in the rotary compressor, work changes due to momentum. Hence, velocity diagram must be used. Efficiency of reciprocating compressor not affected by operating speed. Efficiency of rotary compressor slightly affected the efficiency. Features in the reciprocating compressor low capacity, high head, and uh, pulsating flow. In the rotary compressor, features are high capacity, low head, and steep flow. Now another uh, difference is comparison between reciprocating rotary compressor which is particularly stability is 
in reciprocating compressor suitable for low discharge of air at high pressure when rotary compressor for handling large volume of air at a low pressure operation speed reciprocating compressor is low rotary compressor is as usually high air supply reciprocating compressor pulsating rotary compressor continuous balancing reciprocating compressor cyclic vibration occurs rotary compressor less vibration occurs lubricating system generally complicated in reciprocating generally simple in rot uh, rotary compressor quality of air delivered generally contain with the oil in a rotary co uh, reciprocating compressor air deliver is relatively more clean in a rotary compressor size of the air compressor reciprocating compressor large for the given discharge rotary compressor small for the same discharge free air handle reciprocating compressor 250 to 300 meter cube per minute when rotary compressor 2000 to 3000 meter cube per minute delivery of pressure in the recipro uh, reciprocating compressor 800 to 1000 bar and in the rotary compressor normally below to 10 bar usual standard of compressor in the reciprocating compressor which is a isothermal and rotary compressor which is a isentropic compressor okay thank you